It's been four months since a deadly typhoon struck the Philippines. The region that was affected the most has gotten a lot of support from the Vatican. The Archbishop of Balo came to Rome to say thank you. Our people slowly are recovering from the trauma that they're experiencing, especially because the people in our archdiocese, because of their strong faith. In February, a Vatican delegation traveled from Rome to the Philippines to show its spiritual and financial support. The group helped build an orphanage, nursing home, and a small clinic. The typhoon left more than 10,000 people dead and 4 million displaced. Many sought refuge in the cathedral. So the water sits even to 20 to 30 feet that high, so they were drowned. So they never expected that. Priest Erwin Valagapo accompanied the archbishop on his visit. When it all happened, he interrupted his studies in Rome to return to the Philippines because he had no news of his friends or family after the typhoon struck. What he saw upon his arrival was unforgettable. Outside of the airport, I still saw uh, several dead bodies. And uh, it was terrible. And uh, since I brought with me uh, holy water and some uh, things uh, to bless uh, the dead bodies, uh, with my brother, I went out and uh, blessed some of them. Turns out his family was safe and sound. He saw them that same night. Even though it was a joyful moment, they didn't celebrate out of respect for those who didn't have much to celebrate about. And I really saw uh, destroyed houses and uh, uh, bodies uh, still in the streets. No? Now he's back home in Rome working to rebuild his hometown from afar. The country's Episcopal Conference launched a program called Adopt a Parish to collect funds to rebuild 70 local churches that were damaged by the typhoon.